Hey everybody, it's Roman Rich out here in Oklahoma, Luther, Oklahoma, to be exact. Uh, right behind me, sorry, in front of me, I've got an abandoned section of Route 66. It's no longer drivable. It was for a while, but uh, it's since been closed here in the last couple years. There it is right there. And uh, I thought we should go explore that real quick. It won't take very long. So uh, I'm gonna hop on my one wheel here and uh, go check it out. Let's see what we got here. I've actually driven this road a few times and it just goes to an old, uh, what used to be a bridge. There was a bridge to the east of here and uh, it's the, some of the remnants are still there. The pillars are there of the bridge but the actual deck itself was gone. And uh, again, this is Luther, Oklahoma. And uh, let's, go, uh, let's go check it out here. Let's uh, use the old handy dandy one wheel to see what we can find. I'm gonna go ahead and spin the camera around so you guys can see firsthand what we got. Hopefully that's as close to driving 66 as you can get without actually having to put a vehicle on it. I'm probably moving at about uh, 9 or 10 miles per hour. That's about the fastest I'd like to go on this thing. I'm going to slow down a little bit. There happens to be an old culvert on this uh, road and a while ago I put one of my Route 66 shields there. We'll see if it's still there. It'd be cool if it was. Ooh, a big bump. Oh, bumps in this road. Let's see here. We should, be, we should be coming up to that shield here pretty soon. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Well, that's too big of a bump there. <laughs> that was close. Wow. Yep, there it is. There's the Route 66 shield. Now, I painted that originally in 2010. Just to the side over here is an old WPA culvert. And the WPA was, uh, I think, Works Progress Administration. That was all stuff, uh, infrastructure improvements that were made in the 30s, mostly. A lot of poison ivy. I really don't want to get into that. See if I can find. Now, there's there's a date stamp on this culvert. Let's uh let's check that out. A little bit of poison ivy. I'll I'll break it for you guys though. You're my you're my good fans, so I'll I'll do it for you. Let's see if we can find that date code. A little bit of itching never hurt anybody, right? Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Here it is, guys. There you go. We'll just reach down in there. What's that say? It says 19. 1929 that's the Oklahoma State Highway Commission 1929 so that's how old this culvert is we'll hop back on the one wheel there's the uh, Route 66 shield there behind me still looks pretty good I don't imagine too many people be finding this anymore this stretch of road was owned by an individual he was supposedly selling little fragments of the road, little parcels, and for $66, you could own your very own piece of Route 66, and kind of his thought behind the whole process, well, number one, was probably to make money, uh, but two, was to uh, preserve the road so that if it was actually deeded and titled to hundreds of people buying sections of this road, it would be almost impossible for the state to come in and reclaim this road or tear it apart or do something. That, that's what his explanation was, but I haven't seen him advertising fragments of the road for a couple of years now. We are, uh, oh, big bump. We're still uh, about probably a couple hundred yards from the end. I'm trying to navigate and, and talk all at the same time. This is a very bumpy road. What you have is you have a concrete road. It's a cement road originally but they've put asphalt over the top of it. And so all those expansion joints that you had in the concrete, all the cracks and everything, all the heaved up joints, those all come back through the asphalt in a relative short time. 
And that's one of the things that I use to find old sections of road is I look for those expansion joints in the road itself. So right now we're coming up to where the bridge used to be. And uh, we got a gate, which is open, didn't used to be. Got this handy dandy sign, that says bridge out. That's good to know. And up ahead, you'll probably see some evidence of the owner. He was actually cutting up sections of this road and trying to sell them as souvenir pieces. Let's see how far we get. That's all based on my memory from about six years ago. I haven't been back here in quite a few years. Uh, we're crossing through. Almost fell. Almost fell. Not quite, but almost did. Oh, I see it now. I'll go back and check it out here. I want to show you guys the bridge first. All right, there's an old guardrail. Route 66 guardrail. And there's your bridge abutments. Pretty cool, huh? So this behind me is facing west. Now this way is facing east towards 66 and Luther, Oklahoma. That's your old bridge abutments. And if somebody sees me up here, they might start shooting at me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna disappear in a hurry. All right, I'm gonna go back and show you guys where he was cutting out the road. So he was selling sections of 66 online. It's kind of a neat concept, I guess. I mean, if you're on own a piece of section of 66, you can do whatever you want with it. But uh, he was trying to sell them for $66 a piece, and it came with a legitimate deed and title and all this cool stuff. But uh, I don't think he had that many buyers because here's the little section that he used, and there's some fragments of the road. Right there, yeah. He was saw cutting little sections of Route 66 right there. That's from Port. That's some Portland cement. Right here from Luther, Oklahoma. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Even better, share my videos wherever you can Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Really appreciate your support, guys. As always, go your own way. I'll see you down the road.